NASA just revealed that it can't find the Mars rock sample that the Perseverance rover just found, saying that it mysteriously disappeared. NASA has sent various rovers to Mars in the hopes of better understanding the Martian surface. It's estimated that these missions go into the billions, but now they've said that they're collecting samples from the surface of Mars and hope to better understand its past. The Perseverance rover finally made this happen, but it didn't go to plan. The space agency announced that the rover had picked a spot on an ancient lake bend, with researchers saying this was an ideal location because it could have harbored life in the past, but bizarrely the sample vanished. The hole in the rock where the sample should have been wasn't there anymore, with NASA saying that it just disappeared. The bizarre announcement got people talking. NASA Associate Administrator Thomas de Birchin said the following in a press release. While this is not the hole in one we'd hoped for, there is always risk when breaking new ground. I'm confident we have the right team working on this, and we will persevere towards a solution to ensure future success. People said that this statement didn't really reveal much, and that it sounds like the space agency are just as confused as everybody else. NASA did say that they want to get to the bottom of this mystery, and said that they've instructed the Perseverance rover to take close-up images of the borehole in order to understand what happened. Jennifer Trosper, the project manager for Perseverance, said the following. The initial thinking is that the empty tube is more likely a result of the rock target not reaching the way we expected, and less likely a hardware issue with the sampling and caching system. Over the next few days, the team will be spending more and more time analysing the data, and also acquiring some additional diagnostic data to support understanding the root cause for the empty tube. NASA has said the main goal of the Perseverance rover is to gather samples. These can be studied on Mars by the rovers. Although NASA did express interest in sending future rovers to the Red Planet in order to retrieve these samples and bring them back to Earth, scientists are looking for signs of past life on Mars, saying that a good place to start looking is these ancient lake beds. The last theory presented by NASA is that the rock that Perseverance was meant to collect may have just crumbled, with the space agency saying that this idea is being backed by others. Again though, they said they will conduct further research in the area, and hope that close-up images will reveal to them what happened. NASA said the following on their website. While the rover has significant autonomous capabilities, such as driving itself across the Martian landscape. Hundreds of Earthbound scientists are still involved in analysing results and planning further investigations. There are almost 500 people on the science team. The number of participants in any given action by the rover is on the order of 100. It's great to see these scientists come to agreement in analysing the clues, prioritising each step and putting together the pieces of the Gerozo science puzzle. This isn't the only interesting announcement that's been made by NASA. Last month they reported that ancient life may have been scrubbed from parts of Mars. The study was conducted by the Curiosity rover, with the space agency saying that it made the discovery while it was investigating rocks in the Gale crater. As NASA reported, the Gale Crater has been the home of the Curiosity rover, saying that it landed there back in 2012, and since then it's travelled across the crater in order to find signs of life. This area is a good place to look because it's made up of clay, and this is a good indicator because it's suspected that at one point in time, this area would have had water running through it. NASA also said it's a good place for there to be evidence of microbial fossils, Oddly enough though, when the Curiosity rover took some samples from this crater, the dried out lake bed revealed that certain areas contained more minerals than others, even though these samples had been taken virtually next to each other. Tom Bristow, a researcher at NASA, said the following about the discovery. 
We used to think that once these layers of clay minerals formed at the bottom of the Lake and Gale crater, they stayed that way, preserving the moment in time they formed for billions of years. But later brines broke down these clay minerals in some places, essentially resetting the rock record. Study co-author John Grisinger continued with the following. These are excellent places to look for evidence of ancient life. Even though diagnosis may raise the signs of life in the original lake, it creates the chemical gradients necessary to support subsurface life. So we are really excited to have discovered this. Ashwin Vashnada, a Curiosity Project scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California had this to say. We've learned something very important. There are some parts of the Martian rock record that aren't so good at preserving evidence of the planet's past. The fortunate thing is we find both close together in Gale Crater, and can use mineralogy to tell which is which. A lot of evidence and research points to the existence of water on Mars, such as the findings of the European Mars Express, this craft using an advanced radar system known as Mars's found that Mars's South Pole holds a subsurface anomaly that strongly suggests an entire lake, thought to be around 20 kilometers across and at least one meter deep is underneath the pole. Very recent evidence has found that there are certain places on Mars which could hold liquid water. The reason ice water is plentiful on Mars, but currently there is no evidence of liquid water is because Mars's atmosphere is incredibly thin so as soon as any ice would melt, it would immediately turn to vapour. So what do you make of these recent announcements and discoveries? Also, what do you think happened to the sample that the Perseverance rover took? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.